So, you want to know what a movie is. You better stay tuned to this one. So, what is a movie? A definition of a movie is a recording of moving images that tells a story and that people watch on a screen or television motion picture. So, looking at this definition, we see a movie is about a story that people watch like being entertained and kind of forgetting what life is about for a moment as we go on adventures with what we call our characters. And the definition of character is one of the attributes or features that make up and distinguish an individual. Looking at this definition, we see that characters share different attributes that distinguishes them from one another. In movies, we can relate to what we call characters, and if we share the same attributes of those characters in real life. So, let's look at what a movie is, which is, a story that we call the plot of the movie and the characters that go through this plot as well as the lessons they learn throughout their journey. So what is a plot? A definition of plot is also called storyline, the plan, theme, or main story of a literary or dramatic work such as a play, novel, or short story. All plot means is the journey that the movie takes us through. It's the story of the character's journey and how they overcome things, as well as the lessons they learn on the way. Now, let's break down these even further. Movies have what's called categories, but the proper term for it is genre. And if we look at a definition of genre, which is a class or category of artistic endeavor having a particular form, content, technique, or the like. Looking at this definition, we see that genres have a particular category and art style to each one of them. Let us look at a list of different genres within movies. For simplicity's sake, we will stick to five of these genres, which are action, comedy, sci-fi, horror, and romance. So let's take a look at what different movie types there are and the differences between them. Action movies are typically with lots of explosions and fast movement and stories you can think of these movies with good fight scenes, superhero movies, adventure movies, etc. Some good examples of these movies would be Transformers, Indiana Jones, and Sonic the Hedgehog 2. These all fall in the action category and different movies can overlap together so you can have an action slash adventure or an action slash horror, etc. Now, let's look at what movies we call comedy. Comedy movies is subjective to each person. Whoa! But these movies are designed to make you laugh. Good examples of movies that I know of are Napoleon Dynamite, The Nanda's, Rogue Saints, and Night at the Museum. In the comments below let me know comedy movies that you like our next category is sci-fi or science fiction which means these are based on predictions of the future of what technology might do and how it affects us until someone makes these technologies a reality the fiction is based on what could happen with technology if we take it too far. Some of these sci-fi movies seem to have a rather prophetic effect in the like this could happen and now that this thing that's in the movie is happening in real life. Though I take it with a grain of salt, most sci-fi movies either focus on new tech, aliens, or discovering a new world, unlike our own, or aliens and UFOs. There seems to be some truth in these movies, but not a lot. Few examples of sci-fi are iRobot, Star Wars, Star Trek, and Doctor Who, etc. Our next category is horror. A lot of times, sci-fi and horror 
overlap. Horror movies, for the most part, are being claustrophobic in tight spaces and thinking that something's about to jump out at you! and being possessed by something with really no way out. Until there is a way out, people have had nightmares watching these movies. Few examples I can think of is it. Goosebumps, Chucky, etc. Our next category is romance, and this is normally between a man and a woman who fall in love. Then someone comes in and takes them away, and it's a lot about them falling in true love. The bad thing about these movies is they have a lot of love scenes that are not appropriate for children to see until they're older. These movies are normally called chick flicks. And a few examples of these are 51st Day, 50 Shades of Grey, etc. So, I hope this helps you understand what movies are and for your creativity. If you'd like to share this video, click the share button down below and share it and copy that link and share it on your favorite social media platform. Now, there's a little black button next to it that says subscribe. If you like this content and want to be notified when I upload new videos, then click the bell and go to the highest bell possible and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time where we will discuss knowing your audience. And if you want to learn more about the channel, you can click this video. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.